What's up? Welcome back to another collection tour. Today we are going to Levittown, Pennsylvania, Big Nerdy's hometown where I was born, and we are going to check out Tim's collection of McFarlane and NECA figures. I gotta tell you, Todd McFarlane's been producing toys since the early to mid-ish 90s. I'm pretty sure Tim's been collecting McFarlane stuff since then. I have never seen a full collection of McFarlane like this. Spawn, DC, Mortal Kombat, Dragons, you name it, he's got it. Throw in some NECA, a lot of turtles in other places, and it is a big old collection. So let's hop in the car, let's head on down to Levittown. That almost rhymed. What is going on everybody? My name is Matt, often called Big Nerdy. Together we are the NWO, the Nerd World Order, and this is Nerdzoic. Without further ado, let's go check out some McFarlane craziness. Hi, my name is Tim. I collect mostly McFarlane stuff and some NECA. Really started around 15 years ago, but the last three, four years, I've been really heavily collecting everything. My business and where I'm at in life kind of got better, so I got to buy more stuff. And now we begin. This is quite possibly the greatest single Todd McFarlane collection slash shrine I have seen. So Toddy, if you're watching that, say hi or something. As we go through, we start off, and we start off with the Grail O. McFarlane comic books. That Spawn comic there, it looks like Spider-Man 300. I'm assuming that's it's supposed to look like that. Yeah, it's a homage. I see the original Spawn number one. The newsstand one right there, number one, two. Okay, the newsstand. I made a video on that one last year. I see some autos. Tell us about the graded comics. What do we got? Uh, we have King Spawn number one. They're all one in 250s. Okay. So I got the low count of 15. The Gunslinger Spawn number one, number 14 out of, out of what, 1591. So these are all pre-ordered from Wade's Comics when I got them. And they made sure I got the lowest number when they all came in. He knows I'm all about the Spawn. And is that <laughs> Wizard number one I spy? That is. That's uh, Tom McFarlane cover of Wizard number one. Oh, that's too cool. That's yeah. awesome. There also is an Expo one that's a little bit more rare. That's more expensive. That has a logo on the bottom of that book, but that's the original one. Anything else I'm missing that is non McFarlane? Last of Us first print. That's yeah, that's a good timing. Yeah, that's pretty that's good. What, that's yeah. good timing on that one. <laughs> and then moving down, we begin. And man, you got like boxes in front of boxes. This is amazing. Yeah, I wish I could show you more of our hidden and lack of room. Like as we go down, I see stacks of McFarlane. I see the Kingdom Come stuff that I forgot existed. I see a Haya Robocop down here. The VHS figures, the VHS cases. Yeah, I have never seen those. Walmart exclusive. There's a Crow one on the bottom there oh too. Gosh. Cobra Kai. Then we go into the Turtles NECA, which are probably my favorite line going right now. It's way better than the original ones that they came out. I never really bought the original ones from back in, you know, 89, you know, the 90 ones. They just yeah. didn't look proportioned to what I saw on screen. Until they came out, then it was like a no-brainer to get those. But the hunt for them, oh yeah, yeah, yeah I, had, I had to go everywhere, you know, I didn't want to pay overpriced. I didn't want to go on, you know, eBay, Feebay. They have been brutal since day one. Yeah, then the hall -thon came out, like, with the beginning of last year. Yeah, that was a joke. Yeah, <laughs> that's a plus. Sorry, Target. Sorry, NECA. <laughs> Not sorry. And you got your NECA kind of mixed in before we get to more spawn up in the corner there. Any notable specific ones that are your favorites? The ones that are closer to the other wall right there, they're a little bit more harder to find. But that series over there, 21. The RoboCop one up there too, that my father made. The best ones I think that came up besides the ones that came up from NECA now. And all these Red Hood figures, they're starting to get up real expensive now too. The Red Hood is an interesting one because he goes through his like ebbs and flows of popularity. People are like, I love Jason Todd Red Hood or they're like, the Red Hood sucks. <laughs> I think we're about to see a down cycle though. Have you seen the James Gunn announcement, Batman Brave and the Bold? The Damian Wayne Robin. So I think we'll oh, see yeah. a bigger focus on him and less on Jason. Then we get into the DC multiverse, which I gotta be honest, I didn't realize that there were this many released. Holy crap, that's a lot. And it looks like you have chosen to display all of his Batmans near each other, which is lovely. You have probably the most expensive one that I know of that's a mainline release, which is the Grim Knight. I get an email once a week from people asking, hey, can you get any Grim Knights? No, it's got a gun. It's bad. Out of nowhere, the Green Arrow one yep. from the first line went up crazy. I couldn't believe it because that was one of the ones I bought on the shelf. I don't quite understand the trajectory on it, although I do see you have the McFarlane Munitions pack. So how often do you come in here and say, Maybe I should open some stuff. Not too often, because I would think, where am I going to put it? Because I bought more figures and boxes than I can deal with. That just stack, stack, and then all of a sudden I just, you know, there's no purpose of opening up more of them. I do love that you have both of the 80th Hulks up there, the gray and the green. For my money, that green one is the best Hasbro Hulk they've ever made. I think so too. And I like the gray one, because it reminds me of when McFarlane drew his line of the Hulk back in the day from 330 and up. I think it's 330. 
Those Doom figures, those have been around for a while now, haven't they? That's the first wave of Doom, yeah. How old are they now, do you think? 20 years? They've been around forever. Yeah, they've been around for a while. Up top there, we begin the Ghostbusters time. You're a big Ghostbusters guy, I take oh, it. Oh, yeah. I was so excited when I heard about the new Afterlife movie that came out that was directed by the son of yeah. the original. Because I didn't really look at the 2016 one. I just didn't that much to watch it. But when I heard about the new one, it's just, I had to watch it. But lots of awesome Ghostbusters stuff. What is that Ecto-1 down there? Is that a Mini Mates Ecto-1? That's the first Lego. That's the box that comes with it right next to it. Oh, behind it. Okay, very cool. Yeah. Well, and then the last year or two, that's when they came up with that huge one, which is buried back there somewhere. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna have to get that built. I just noticed have like two more Ecto-1 versions down below here. My goal was I had an obsession with Ecto-1s and any cars that related from the 80s and 90s, Knight Rider, DeLoreans, all the Ecto-1s. There's more Ecto-1s scattered throughout this place too. Then you have what looks to be some of the earlier multiverse figures. There's so many new ones that are coming out for pre-order. I've just done with the pre-orders. I wait until they come around. Usually when California gets their shipment and they get them first, around a month and a half where we get them down in the East Coast. McFarland has a deal with mass retail, Target and Walmart to get them theirs first. For McFarland specifically, pre-ordering doesn't really make sense, which is why I don't carry them anymore. I do enjoy the Shrine O Spawn here. Tommy McFarlane Kickstarter that came out around two, three years ago. It comes with the regular Spawn Mask one and then the Hamburger Head one and then the Artist Proof one on the bottom there. I think on the pre-order price, I think it was around $180 for all three. And they're going around $150 now each. I didn't know there was a Super Nintendo game. Not gonna lie. It was one of the worst games that came out that really? year. Really? Yeah, yeah, everyone said that it, they played it. I never played it, but I heard it was the worst game they ever played. But it's rare now. So as we move into more spawn, first off, is that the original down on the bottom here? Is that what I'm looking at? Yes. That is a lot of variants. What's different? These are all from, I think, I believe 1994. I think each one, each character with a different face and mask have three different variants. These are all the hammer head ones. The two of them came with blue suit, one came with one. But people say it's the same figure, but they come with different backing of, of displays on their right. cases. Different stickers in different positions and as a completist i had to get them completionism can be a sickness sometimes i know mm -hmm. i realized that when i was buying episode two tablecloths this one is a rare one because this one came with a j-hook when i found that out i had to get one of those and that one there's one of the rarest ones too because it's the blue suit one the one out of every hundred that they produced that one came out so that was really hard to find my favorite item is um i think what i recently just got the spawn blue suit one that's really rare they're usually all in black suits i just got that recently for 30 bucks it's going around for 150 50, 200 now online, so that's one of my grills right now. Never knew we had a Tom and Jerry run. That's a new one for me. There's a few out there that I don't remember or hearing about that McFarlane made, but when I find it, I buy it. There's a few I think comes with this set too. I do have the truck. <laughs> the Flintstones. Yeah, the Flintstones right oh, there. nice. Yeah. Very cool. But these are pretty pricey too. They're, they run from 60 to $80 each now too. <laughs> then we have the classic cover series. Those are beautiful. Those are mostly complete. The only one I'm missing I think that's really exclusive is, is the one uh, from series 26 or 24. Spawn's sitting on a gargoyle. Okay. That's going around five, $600. And uh, I don't know that's, when I'm gonna get that. I might have to trade for that one yeah. or something. <laughs> then up top we have the art of Spawn. And there's the animated series figures up there too. I was going to ask you, I have never seen them. How old are those? Uh, they came out around 99, I think, 2000. But I don't remember, I actually, they made an actual cartoon for Spawn. It was actually a comic book that came out, the Adventures of Spawn comic book. That's what the characters are based out of. And they are like cartoony. They never made a TV show though. They made the HBO special and everything else, which Japan animated series, but that's it. My regret of collecting, buying stuff from third parties overpaying for certain items that I want to get soon. And then a month later, I see them on the shelf for half the price. You want to be that first guy on the, on the, on the post with, your, with that character or that, that, that toy. I just wasted money. It's not waiting a month or two, just waiting until it comes out, you know, in the store. So that's like most of my regrets. So I slowed down on that. You're rocking some original T2 stuff over there. Yeah, these are the Movie Maniac ones that I thought they were cool. They are McFarlane. Yeah, Man, he had his hands in more things than I realized. Yeah, he did. <laughs> guys like the Forrest Gump of toys. When they came out, they were overlooked. When you see them in KB Toys and everything else, they're just like a little bit ahead of its time, I guess. But now all of a sudden, everybody wants them now. I'm not gonna lie, I saw a couple KB Toy price stickers in here and I was like, man. It's one of the reasons why I would buy that figure if I see it, if it has a KB Toy. So you like the KB? So we were in Levittown, which is where I was born. So I feel like Luke Skywalker when I rolled in. I was like, <laughs> I was born here, you know? You're gonna die. <laughs> Out here you know so we probably went to all the same stores growing up so like the stores that are defunct now that were in this area that i wish i had like labels on would be like remember clover it was at the bucks county mall kitty city yeah <laughs> i think they had one up on business oh kitty city r.i.p kb toys was in the mall you got toys r us and now it's a car wash now i think uh, they got toys r us in canada now maybe or they like the philippines canada, they have one in jersey and then you have nerdzoic <laughs> branding then we got some Hot Wheels Ninja Turtles and Hot Wheels Batman. Finally, 
No McFarlane on those. Toddy's probably sitting there going, man, I was just about to send this guy some <laughs> stuff, but now I'm not. My shrine's <laughs> not complete. And then I see you got some of the BST AXNs. I don't know if that's called Best Action. That's just my guess. I think, I think they're mainly called Loyal Subject. That's their company name. That's kind of a creepy name for a toy line. Yeah. <laughs> but whatever, a couple Funkos back there. To say that you have maxed out space, I would say is fair. Pretty much, that's why I slowed down a little bit. Tell me about the most controversial thing in here. The spawn. Yeah, spawn looks like he's having a bad day there. Well, a lot of people talked about because of how controversial it's being hung. I mean, there's no action figure out there that has a noose around its neck. But if you read the story, it has something to do with the KKK and how spawn. So I forgot about the story, but it's not what everybody thinks it is. Yeah. Because I posted that online, I got so many backlash from people saying I was racist or this and that. And then I had a more educated people who knew the story behind it, how to educate that person. So, every, yeah. you know, we all, everything squared away. You have a crap ton of comics. 35 I have. 35 longs? Yeah. No, they're short, they're short. But, Holy yeah, crap. Cool. And I have pretty much every single Spawn comic, the whole series, except for one. I need one more to complete the whole series. What else do you like collect comic-wise besides for Spawn? Mostly Batman too. I used to draw Batman when I was a kid. It got me into art and everything. Another reason why I became an artist is Ninja Turtle. They used to take Ninja Turtle comics, rip pages out of it. I used to try drawing them and everything. That's when we got me involved with Turtles. Just the art that's on the packaging. When I was a kid, I was really into art or anything that had images on it. I used to grab it either from a magazine or a comic book or a toy and I would just bring it home and try to draw it, you know? And then McFarlane came out in the 92, 94 and then his imagery on his, on his figures were different from a lot of other companies and I thought they were really cool and dark. So got me into it more than other things. So, There's some yeah. dark McFarlane stuff in here that I don't think I've seen. Like I never saw Billy Kincaid up there. I don't know what's going on with him. It looks like me before I lost my hair. We got the McFarlane Dark Ages and Akira. I didn't know he did those either. Yep. Man, you really have maxed out your space. You gotta get that garage done. As long as my wife is happy and let me do this for a little bit longer, then you know, I'm gonna get away with it. Until then, uh, yeah, the, the garage is next. <laughs> Any kids in the future? Yeah, yeah, and when that happens, this is gonna be the baby room. You yep. know? Nothing as sad as packing up the stuff to make it into a nursery, but it's also like a happy sad. There you have it. So probably the most complete McFarlane slash Spawn collection I have ever seen. I don't know that I've ever seen anything quite like it. So this one was a fun one. I get to visit my hometown. So you always got to like that. Yep, that is a whole lot of McFarlane. Tim, you need to get that garage set up so that you can expand that collection and enjoy the whole thing. Links to apply to be in a future collection tour are down in the description. Yes, they're fixed now. And you can check out some of the other collection tours we did. Yeah. And remember, you got to get old, but you don't have to grow up. Just be cool and stay nerdy. Later.